I'll be starting off this DIY project with Dollar Tree foam boards. And all I'm going to be doing right now is adding up all these boards together to make it look like one whole large board using tape. Now I'm going to be covering this entire board with plates and these are paper plates but really hard paper plates that I used for a party and I had a lot of leftover so I'm going to be using that to cover up the foam boards using hot glue. I'm going to cut off small pieces for the edges. I got these plates from at home stores and I saw something similar to this also at Walmart and I'll recommend buying the plates from Walmart instead of at home because it's much more cheaper. To cover up the spaces in between the plates, I would have just used plates to cover them, but that would just make it look boring, right? I want something really shiny and glam. So I'm going to reach out for mirror tiles and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I am going to use these tiles to cover up the open spaces to give it a more rich and glam look, whether you're looking at it from afar or up close and it's perfect for kitchen backsplashes. I'm going to use a pair of scissors to cut it down to the pieces that I would like to have in between the plates. Some of the spaces in between the plates are wider than some, <laughs> that's human error. So what I'm going to do now is use tape to cover up some part of the middle. And I'm going to do it in such a way that the tape will rest on the plates and will not come off in any way. Because this is mine and I noticed it much later, I'll recommend that if you want to go ahead and do this project, that you put all the plates closely together so you will have your mirror tiles on the plates and not on the tape. You can mount this on the wall with either nails or command strips. Now, if you love these mirror tiles, you're going to love the next DIY wall cover idea. I did use an item from the Dollar Tree, but use the same mirrors to decorate in between what I used from the Dollar Tree. I always see a lot of this sort of frames and I've always wanted to do a project with them. I have two projects in mind, but for today's video, I'm going to be making a 3D wall with them. I'll start by removing the paper and the protective film.
because I would love to have the reflection of what I'm going to be making, I'm going to be spray painting just one side of the photo frames. The size of the wall you want to cover will determine how many of these you would get. I got 28 because it's what I'll be needing for my wall. After I was done removing the paper and the protective film, I took it out and I spray painted just one side gold. And that side is the inner side of the photo frame. I brought them back in when they were dry. And as you can see, one side here is fully covered while the other side has a reflection. So that's what I was going for, the reflection for the 3D wall. I'm gonna keep this aside and then take foam boards, attach them together, cut it down to size and then spray paint it. Now I'm going to be attaching the acrylic photo frames on the foam board. This is the design that I was going to go with initially, but then I figured out another way that I was going to have a 3D design that I would like. And all I'm going to be doing is making sure that I have two lower ends meet. And then as the design goes on, the higher ends are going to meet as well. These are not heavy, so I'll be using hot glue to attach them to the foam boards. I'll be adding borders around what I just made and you can use either strips from a foam board or PVC strips from the hardware store and cover it up with gold tape. I mounted everything on the wall with little tack nails. Here's what the mirror tiles did to my design. To make this entirely budget friendly, you can substitute the mirror tiles for either diamond wrap or large adhesive gems that they sell at Walmart. The mirror tile that's in silver has complemented the silver decor that I have in this space. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos. If you're interested in other ways to decorate your home on a budget, they're all going to be in the playlist down in the description box below. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, I am so glad to have you here. Now, before you leave, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.